The families of Carnell and Kate came together today to mark this somber anniversary. News 5's Olivia, Olivia Fecto spoke with them about their search for answers. It's been 365 days of grueling agony and not knowing is, is not, um, it's painful. Peter Zuban says it's been a tough year without his sister-in-law, Kate Brown. Kate was uh, full of love. Love for her family. She loved her niece and nephews like they were her own children. <laughs> she was just a beautiful person. She, she was an incredible writer. She was an animal lover. She was a beautiful soul. Carnell Sledge's family misses him terribly, too. We miss his love, compassion. Like I said, he always, you know, was family oriented. A good person loved by so many, according to his cousin, Tanika Glass. You know, we say that over and over um, and we miss him tremendously. Family members and friends placed luminaries here in honor of Carnell and Kate. Both families say that having some answers could help bring them closure. Luminaries are a personalized way we can each tell our story and bring together families from both sides and bring together friends. For these grieving families, trying to make sense of a world without Carnell and Kate, it's been an entire year without answers. You know, we still in the dark. It's like, it's put on the shelf. Glass feels Carnell and Kate's deaths were motivated by racism, and she's worried this could become a cold case. You know, and I really believe somebody did see it, and, they don't, and I just pray that they do move, come forward and to be able to bring us justice and peace. We know that the authorities are doing the best that they can, um, but we're hoping for more. We're hoping for some answers. At a time when the world is full of uncertainty, Zuban says the way to honor Carnell and Kate is to spread love. You could talk to anybody that knew the both of them and they would they will all tell you that um, it would be hard pressed to find two people that loved as much as they did. So um, please spread love. Olivia Fecto, News 5. The FBI and Metro Parks Police say they're still following up on all leads in this case. Agents tell us they expected the $100,000 reward for information leading to the killer would be enough for somebody to talk, but unfortunately that has not happened yet. So now they're doubling down on their investigation. We have conducted your logical investigative uh, investigation. Uh, we, we have done all those things. We continue to go back and look at those to see if anything was missed, uh, if there's any other angle that we can look at it from. Okay, if you saw something or even if you were in the park that day between 508 and 515, the FBI and Metro Parks Police want to hear from you. All tipsters can and will remain anonymous. Metro Parks Police says the department's priority is still to bring justice for Carnell Sledge and Kate Brown.